Welcome to the local history room of the Kingston Frontenac Public Library in Kingston, Ontario, Canada. Our library system consists of 16 branches which are located throughout the city of Kingston and Frontenac County. Civil registrations, also known as vital records, are the official government records of births, marriages and deaths. In Ontario, civil registration officially began in 1869. Some pre-1869 registers exist. These have been transcribed and compiled into a set of books called the District Marriage Registers of Upper Canada and Canada West. Unfortunately, the Midland District Marriage Register has not survived. This means the records of Kingston Frontenac marriages are not included in this series. These days, almost all of the Ontario civil registrations can be searched online. This list of shortcuts is in the description box below. The earlier records are free online and the later ones can be obtained through the Service Ontario website under certain conditions. The early registrations of births, marriages and deaths are available free on the Family Search site. They began in the year 1869 and the end dates for these collections vary based on privacy legislation which keeps the more recent records locked. The dates on this slide are accurate as of January 2022, but they'll change over time as more records are made public. By the time you view this video, the date ranges may have changed. Here is the collection of Ontario birth registrations on the Family Search site. The collections of marriage and death registrations are similar to this. The links are in the description box below. In order to view the records, you will need to sign up for a free Family Search account. The search interface is very straightforward. It's not necessary to fill in all of the fields. The results screen gives brief information about the record. To see the full information, click the text icon. From here, you can click to view a scanned image of the original document. It's always a good idea to look at this image because in many cases, it will include information that wasn't transcribed into the text entry. The scanned images are from the Archives of Ontario. In the days before online searching, you would have had to travel to Toronto to view them or order the microfilm reels via interlibrary loan and wait for them to arrive. Sometimes you won't be able to find a registration even when you're confident that it should be there. Often this happens because the transcriber misspelled a name or wasn't able to decipher the handwriting in the original record. If that happens, and if you know the place and year of the event, you can try browsing the registration books online. Click the Browse button. Don't be intimidated by the size of this record set, more than one million images. It's not as daunting as it sounds. In this case, you can choose to browse the main collection, Marriages, or collections of related records, such as delayed registrations. Click a year to zero in. The registrations for that year are grouped by county and the counties are sorted alphabetically into one long sequence of registration numbers. Since Frontenac County starts with F, it usually files about a quarter or a third of the way into the sequence. Within the Frontenac County batch of records, there are pages from each of the townships. The township pages aren't sorted into alphabetical order so you may have to browse the whole Frontenac County batch to find the record you're looking for. To jump forward or back in the sequence, you can type an image number into the box. To toggle back and forth between a single page view and a screen full of thumbnail images, click the icon that looks like a grid. The same process applies for all three collections of Ontario civil registrations, birth, marriages, and deaths. You can search or browse each of these collections using the same strategies. Due to privacy legislation, the more recent civil registrations are not yet available to the public. To access them, you must visit the Service Ontario website. Before we do that, it's worth noting that Ancestry Library Edition has just a tiny bit more coverage than Family Search. If you're looking for an Ontario birth, marriage, or death that was registered just a year or two after the cutoff dates listed on the previous slide, you may be able to find it in Ancestry Library Edition. 
For example, the family search site includes birth registrations only up to 1912, but the ancestry site includes births up to 1915. So if you were looking for a birth that occurred between 1912 and 1915, it would be worth checking Ancestry Library Edition. This could save you the cost of a Service Ontario search. Ancestry Library Edition is available free of charge to all, but you have to be physically inside the library to access it. You can learn more on our library's website at www.kfpl.ca. If you live in Ontario, you're probably familiar with Service Ontario. All kinds of documents, including driver's licenses, health cards, and permits, are available through the Service Ontario website. Partway down the home page of the Service Ontario website, you'll find the links for birth, marriage, and death registrations. You can click a button and fill out an application online to order copies of these registrations. Access to these records is limited mainly to the person for whom the record was created or to their next of kin. The specifics are spelled out clearly on the Service Ontario site. However, if you have a rough idea of the date when a birth, marriage, or death took place, you can request a search. You don't have to be a close relative or next of kin in order to request a search. You can choose a year and Service Ontario staff will search a five-year span around that date. There is a fee for this type of search. As of January 2022, it costs about $15 for a five-year span. Only basic information is returned, such as the name of the person and the date and place of the event, and you won't be able to see the full registration record. But in some cases, for example, if you're just trying to confirm an exact date and place so you can check for an obituary in the newspaper, this service can be very useful. This concludes our introduction to civil registration records. We hope this quick tour has been helpful. Links to the online resources mentioned are in the description box below. As always, we welcome your questions and comments. Our staff are always happy to help. You can reach us through our website at www.kfpl.ca. Thank you so much for watching and best of luck with your research.